Are you interested in learning more about the power of Snagit? I'm focusing on Snagit 2023, but it would be relevant to slightly older versions of Snagit as well. I'm going to focus on the key things that Snagit can do, but we're going to go into quite a lot of detail. So we're going to look at the image capture tool and look at how we can take an image and augment it and add text to it and even bring in other pictures. And then we're also going to look at screen capture, but we're going to look at screen capture for making video recordings that you save on your computer. You put them onto your YouTube channel or you make use of the excellent screencast.com, which also allows for some other things like commenting. So this is a really thorough video on the basics, on the key basics of the things that Snagit does really well. So the technology we're looking at is Snagit 2023. And this first example that I'm gonna show you is gonna be just perfect for teachers. And you're gonna see the power and how useful this technology is for making, for example, worksheets and activities. Watch this, I'm gonna click on capture and it opens up this kind of tool that allows me, if I click on image, to image capture anything. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over to a website that I've got here. I'm gonna open up that image capture tool onto the screen. And now what I'm gonna do is simply click on region, because I wanna just image capture a region. Click on capture and I'm gonna just capture this area here and bring this picture into the Snagit editor. Now I don't have to do anything, I just simply mark the area and now it's open. Now what I can do now is I'm gonna turn this into a worksheet. I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of things I'm gonna do. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on steps, okay? And I'm gonna click now on here because this is gonna be garage. So I'm gonna click on here for the first one, garage. And this one will be front door. And this one will be roof. And this one will be window. And this one will be tree. And this one will be lawn. And this one will be driveway. So quickly, I've just added these numbers onto the image. Now watch this. I can actually click on copy all. And now I'm gonna paste that directly into a Word document. So I've got a Word document open here and I'm gonna call this learning about a house. Just doing this really simple and quick for you and I'm gonna paste in no needs to do anything else but simply just paste that image straight into my Word document. Now what I can do is just add a few sentences here below. I'm gonna say complete these words or write these words. So let's just put in write these words, okay? And then I'm gonna put number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven. And immediately I've got myself a little kind of vocabulary worksheet. This would obviously work in language teaching, for example. This is just one example. Of course, I could have numbered any graphic that I wanted to. That is a sort of example of the sort of thing that you can do in seconds working with Snagit. Now I'm just gonna show you one more example. So I'm gonna bring on the uh, Snagit capture tool here, click on image, click on region. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just select an area. So I'm gonna hold my mouse down and I don't need to image capture the whole thing, but I just need to image capture that area there. Let go of the mouse and immediately that image is brought into Snagit. Notice that any image captures that you've got will appear here in the tray below. And so what I can actually do is take this image capture here and bring it into this image capture so I can combine them. Watch this, I'm just gonna drag this image onto the screen and place it somewhere on the screen. So for example, there. And I can resize it as well if I want to just get it exactly the size that I want it to be. So this is a really powerful, uh, the ability to drag other images in to add and build up an image, to create a collage, an infographic, etc. This is very, very powerful. Now we can do all sorts of things to this image, but to keep it basic, let's click on text and let's click on the screen, might make that a little bit smaller, the text is quite big, let's put it down to 26. I'm just gonna click mark an area. So if I bring on the text, click on the text button here, click on the screen and just mark an area where I wanna write. I'm gonna start writing and I'm gonna say sign up to my new, sorry, to my newsletter. Okay, so now I've got a kind of a, uh, a little, um, piece of text here and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw an arrow 
from uh, that piece of text uh, to here. And now that would also be added on to the screen. Now, obviously, I could make that look a lot nicer if I wanted to, but you can see that. If I click on stamps, I have a whole range of stamps. For example, again, if I want to, for some reason, highlight something on the screen, then again, I've got the option of kind of adding these stamps in. So let me just give you an example. Let's say I want to put a star by this to kind of highlight it. I can click here and add a star. Now, these options to augment images allows this technology to be used for creating thumbnails, which is precisely how I use it. I use it a lot for creating the thumbnails that I add to my YouTube videos and also for creating infographics and basically for developing an image. There's loads and loads of options. As I said, I've just looked at a few. Of course, you can crop the image if you want to, re you know, to get it the perfect size. Of course, we've got that fantastic steps button. Snagit is a pretty sophisticated image capture and image editing tool. Now, if you are interested in knowing more about Snagit image capture, there's a video on the screen now that you can click on that's going to take you through five examples. What I'm going to do now is focus on Snagit as a screen capture technology. So I'm going to do a screen capture and to do a screen capture, I just need to click on this button here. Screen capture opens up this kind of um, recorder here. I choose video and I'm going to choose region. I'm going to mark an area of the screen and I will use my webcam. Now, interestingly as well, we can actually choose different types of shapes when we use the webcam. And for this one, I'm going to use a circle. But notice that I've got lots of shapes. This is a pretty sophisticated tool. Now, all I need to do is jump over to whatever it is I want to screen capture and begin to record it. So just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to kind of introduce my website to you. So I'm going to come over to my website and now click on that recorder. I've got it on video. I'm going to click capture and I just hold my mouse down and mark the area that I want to record. Okay. And now I'm ready. Okay. Now you will notice also that I come on the screen on my webcam there. You can see me there. And all I need to do is to click on this button and that is it. And I'm just going to do a quick video. This is my website, teachertrainingvideos.com. Lots of free videos on it. And if you want to sign up to the newsletter, at the moment there is a free 14-part course in using technology in teaching and learning. I'm going to click on the pause button. And I can go back and obviously continue the recording. But if I'm finished, I just click on stop. That is it. Incredibly, that video is now recorded. And perhaps even more incredibly, I could now share that video with one button click. And that's what I'm going to show you after we've played the video just to check the quality of it. So let's just quickly play that video and see how it's come out. This is my website, teachertrainingvideos.com. Lots of free videos on it and absolutely perfect. No problem at all with that. Now watch this. First of all, I'm going to show you how I would save this video on my computer. I would come over to here. I would click on file. I would click on save as and I'll save it on my desktop and I'll just call this TTV, teacher training videos one record okay simple as that so one click and that has been added onto my desktop now i'm going to go play the video from my desktop but then i'm going to come back and show you how in one click i could then share this onto the basically a video repository it could be youtube it could be screencast.com etc so let's just jump over to my desktop there's the video let's click on it there it is. This is Play my it. website, teachertrainingvideos.com. Lots of free videos on it. Absolutely brilliant. Notice it's got my cursor recorded as well. I've got my webcam here in the corner. I've got a high quality video that's an MP4 file, which I could now upload onto Moodle, onto Blackboard, into Google Classroom, etc. Now, I'm going to show you the same process now, but uploading the video onto the internet. And again, it's just one button click. Now, in a minute, I'm going to show you how you can use, use Snagit to upload videos to YouTube. But some of you might be interested in more sophisticated screen capture where you can have multiple videos and edit them and bring in real video and do all sorts of things. If you're looking for that, I've got a free course on using Camtasia 2022 and it's on the screen now. Click on that link and it will take you to a complete course in Camtasia. But we're going to move on now to saving videos from Snagit in YouTube. 
Now actually you can do many, many things with Snagit. It's a very versatile tool which you can use for making infographics and worksheets and text grab and also for image capture. So if you want to learn more about all of the options rather than just the screen cast option, then click on the video that's on the screen now. I'm going to show you now what I consider to be my favorite feature in Snagit. Watch this. I'm going to click on share link. Okay. And that is going to upload the video onto a specific repository that is provided by screencast.com. In other words, it's the repository that goes with Snagit. Now you get a free amount of space when you have Snagit. Now, unbelievably, that video is already uploaded and the link is ready. So remember, I clicked on share link. So I'm just going to paste that link in and then I'm going to press enter and you'll see that the video there it is on the screen. I just share that link and the students can play this video. Now, this is something else that I want to show you about this. This is my website and if you come over to it, there's lots of free video. Students can also comment. So you could come over, the students could listen to the video and then over on the right hand side here, they could comment on it and say, yeah, this is a great video. Thank you. Okay, and then submit that. This feature here on the right hand side, I love this feature, this ability not only to be able to super quickly upload the video into uh, or upload the video into the screencast uh, website or it's a video repository, then share the link with your students, but then your students can also comment on the video as well. Now I know many of you will want to share your video in YouTube. So if you come to share, if you've got a YouTube channel, come down to YouTube and the first time you will need to connect your channel, okay? That is you will just need to sign in with your Gmail account so that Snagit is connected. I've already got mine connected here as you can see. I'm gonna upload this video here. I've got my title TTV1 record. I clip, simply click on share and it's more or less the same process. This video is now being uploaded onto my YouTube channel and the link is ready. I'm gonna click on get link and let's do the same as we did before with the screencast.com. Let's now look at that link on YouTube. So let's open up a new browser window or a new tab. I'm going to click on share that link and there is the video. This is my website, Teacher Training, on my YouTube channel. Of course, the difference is you can't quite comment in the same way that you can when you're using Screencast-O-Matic where you've got, or Screencast.com because you can't kind of add the comments here on the side, but as, as you know, you can comment below. So that's another option. Again, you can just see how easy it is to get the video onto your YouTube channel. Okay, really hope you liked that video. Please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com, make use of the menu system here at the top, lots of free videos. You'll also find loads of free videos on the front page and my blog at the bottom. As I mentioned before, if you sign up to the newsletter, you get updated on all the blog posts, the webinars that are often free, the online courses, and of course the latest videos. But there's also a free 14 part video course in how to use technology in teaching and learning. And there's no tricks, that really is just one video sent to you every four or five days. You can also contact me from the website if you was perhaps interested in some training in using Snagit. And I'm gonna leave a few more videos on the screen now that might be relevant to those of you that like Snagit. Thank you very much.